Hi everyone and thanks for joining us on CNB. I'm Siddharth Vinayak Patankar. Let's start off straight away with that very hot looking car, the Octavia RS. Now, Skoda is saying, of course, that it's still not very firm on its plans to bring the car to India. But what I can tell you is that it's definitely under consideration. Now, there will be small volumes for a car like this, but remember, even the last Octavia RS was fairly popular because of its massive performance credentials. And in the Indian context, we don't have a hot sedan in that space. So, the RS could really fit the bill. The Octavia is now in its third generation. We have had it in India since October 2013. But unlike the last two generations, we still haven't got the sportier performance VRS version as yet. As I already said, Škoda is indeed considering it, but not in a hurry because it expects low sales anyway. So for those of you who don't remember, let me tell you what a VRS variant is. So you don't want to spend as much money as the true hot hatch buyer does, something like a souped up Golf, and yet you want the convenience of uh, having that budget that's important and keeping things more or less family car-like. Well, that's where this car comes into context, but what I've just said applies to the European buyer. Yes, this is uh, a car that looks like a sedan. It is the Octavia, so which means that it does have the hatch. It's convenient and of course it's powerful. So in India, how could a product like this really work? Well, the comparison then isn't one that will uh, really bring in any hot hatches. We don't really have those, do we? The whole point is that you'll then have to start to say that, do I want to buy something like a Mercedes-Benz A-Class or do I want a car like this that gives you the convenience of being a family car and yet has that little extra punch, that little extra power to also thrill you and exhilarate you. Ah, so it won't be cheap if it comes. But it will still offer you more metal and perhaps more punch than the likes of the premium brand hatches and compact sedans. And what's more, the car under consideration this time for India is the diesel VRS with a 2.0 TDI engine, unlike the Laura RS, which came petrol only to India. The new Octavia VRS is of course also available with the range topping 217 bhp 2.0 TFSI petrol motor too, but that's primarily in Europe. Now the thing with the VRS is that out on the road, it doesn't immediately scream performance variant. The multi-linked rear axle is not skewed towards very sporty. And if anything, at slower speeds, the suspension's intentional tilt towards comfort is very apparent. And then there's the engine. Now for a car that carries the VRS badge, you'd think that uh, throttle response was a little punchier. I would have liked that, a little faster throttle response. It's not a problem area, it's not like it's unsatisfying, but uh, yeah, just a little bit extra punch would have been nice. But uh, you know what, frankly, the car is punchy enough in the sense that all you need to do is just use the paddle shift, which is a lot of fun. Just drop down a gear and it responds instantly. So uh, from that perspective, you can still get it to do a little bit of uh, the fun stuff that you want it to. So it's a civilized brute and not one that gets you sweating. But then if you are the family type who wants some fun on the side, then this is the ideal blend. The car's steering is great fun and very precise. Handling is superb and I have to say, while the DSG gearbox is great, the six-speed manual gearbox is oodles of fun by comparison. Now the torque delivery on this motor is just so smooth. There's a huge level of refinement to it and uh, so you don't get that little jerk or jolt at any point. It's nice and smooth and uh, you almost have to sort of look down and remind yourself how quickly you've gotten up to the speeds that you have. Now get into this car and instantly you know it's a diesel, no doubt about it, but 
What's nice is that the engineers at Škoda have made it sound so sweet. It's got this lovely, yummy sort of sound to it and uh, it'll certainly make heads turn, I can tell you. Coming around to a little bit of a turn now, let me do that, slam one gear down and then you'll know what I mean. So should you wait for one? In fact, should you even want one? The practical and sensible answer is a big no. We don't have the roads for it. We don't have the need for it. Well, that's what the rational mind says. My take is simple. Unless car makers keep wetting our appetite with cars like this, the market will never progress or grow towards having hot hatches and sedans that are truly hot. Can we do without them? Sure. Should we? Nah. So I hope Škoda makes up its mind on the Octavia VRS soon, one way or the other. But if it cares for my opinion, then bring it here. Double quick, I say. Thank you.